We're going to Portugal. We're not all going on a summer holiday, but from today, going abroad for one is no longer illegal. This, after a long time of empty arrival halls, will be a sight for sore eyes for many in the travel industry. It's a change of environment. We've been stuck at home for literally two years. So just getting out and doing something different, being in a different culture, getting some sunshine, relaxing. International travel has returned, but with only 12 countries on the green list, the destinations are limited. But the paperwork and cost is not. For Portugal, it's a PCR test on the way out, as well as two COVID tests to get back to the UK. But today's 8.40 to Faro was 90% full. So we're now flying at over 35,000 feet. It feels quite familiar to be on board a plane again, but also quite strange, not least being in such close proximity with other people. For some, the adventure began before the plane landed. Arlo's grandmother hasn't seen him for nine months. A lot of Zoom Christmas, Zoom birthdays, Zoom Mother's Day. Um, so, yeah, trying to... I mean, he'd started crawling and, and walking and talking since she last saw him. So um, he's a completely different, different little boy. This was a longed-for arrival for many. Right. Ah, that's great. Not Thank least for that. those with businesses that rely on British tourists here. Cheers. Peter Knopp has run his cafe in Albufeira for 23 years. When he said we were on that green list, uh, yeah, choking your voice, it really was. It's, it's massive, absolutely massive, because I don't think a lot of us could carry on much further, you know, without just going irretrievably in debt. We will get through, everyone will. We're, um, we're all in it together and uh, the Algarve will bounce back. The beaches are still empty, but after a difficult year, some are returning to the sunshine. Julian and Jordan arrived this morning after a hard year working in a supermarket. Feeling great, it's feeling great. Just normality, so, yeah. a bit of normality. Oh, no. After months of anticipation, today was a much hoped for reunion. Yeah. Caroline Davis, BBC News, Albufeira, Portugal.